This is lesson 489. This is a spelling dictation lesson. And in this lesson, we are going to be spelling words where syllable rule three is in play in terms of the division of the word. Syllable rule three says that whenever two vowels are next to one another in a word, yet do not join together to form a vowel team, divide the syllable between those two vowels. And we have examples of syllable rule three. In the word lion, we have I and O next to one another, but I and O do not join together and form a team. O I does, but I O does not. So therefore, we divide the syllable between the I and the O according to syllable rule three. Diet. Now, IE, we will learn later, can sometimes form a team. But in this word, diet, it obviously does not. So we divide the syllable between the I and the E according to syllable rule three. UE is a team that we have had before as a vowel group four team. But obviously, every time U and E are adjacent to each other in a word does not necessarily mean they will form a team. And how do we know that? Because we're looking at a word fluent, where the U and the E are next to one another, adjacent to one another in the word fluent, and the U represents its long sound, and the E represents its short sound. So to some extent, you simply have to look at the word that you're dealing with and determine whether or not the two vowels are, in fact, joining together to form a team, or if instead they are breaking up into separate syllables, and each vowel is representing its own sound. Now, the vast majority of times, UE will be a vowel team for, but there will be ex situations where you'll have two vowels together where the vowels that normally form a team do not, and instead each vowel will represent its own sound. And we have to deal with that situation on a case-by-case -case basis. Boyish, the fourth example, we have OY, which is a team, and then immediately next to that is the letter I. So we have OY and I next to one another or adjacent to one another in a word, but obviously they are not going to form a team because OY already is a team. So we know to divide the syllable after OY and before the I. The same situation occurs in the next example, flower. We have the OW team, which is a vowel team. In this instance, the OW is a vowel group six team because the O is not representing its long sound. It's representing the sound OW. And then immediately following OW, we have another vowel team, ER. So when that happens, we divide between the vowel teams according to syllable rule three. And then finally in the word coed, OE is a team we've had before as a vowel group four team, where OE represents the sound O as in toe. But in this word, we can see that it's obvious that O and E are not going to join together and form a team. And instead, the O represents the long sound in coed, and the E represents the short sound. So as I was alluding to just a bit ago, you have to treat these situations on a case-by-case -case basis. In the vast majority of words, if you see OE, OE is going to form a team. But there will be situations such as in the word co-ed where that's not the case. And when it's not the case, then you have to make the adjustment mentally and then mark it accordingly. Now I'm going to dictate 10 rows of words and all of these words will contain one syllable that's divided according to syllable rule three. Beginning with row one, oasis, oasis, the group came to an oasis in the desert, oasis. First syllable, o, second syllable, a, final syllable, sis, three sounds, s, i, s, o, a, sis. Now, using our marking procedure, we look for teams, we look to see if a letter is representing its second sound, and we look for a silent E. Now, normally you would say, oh, well, OA is a team and underline it. However, we can tell that OA is not a team 
because O is representing its long O sound, and A is representing the long A sound here. So even though normally OA forms a team, in this word it does not. So we don't have any teams in this word. We don't have any letter representing its second sound. We don't have a silent E. So the next thing to do is identify vowel sounds. We have three vowel sounds. We have a three-syllable word. Now we apply our syllable rules. Here we divide between O and A according to syllable rule three. And then finally we associate vowel group numbers with our vowel sounds. O, A, sis. The next word is mower. Mower, I need to buy a new lawn mower. Mower, first syllable mo, two sounds. M, O. Er, one sound. Mo, er. So applying the marking procedure, we look for teams, letters representing their second sounds, or a silent E. And we have the OW team and the ER team. Next, we identify vowel sounds. Two vowel sounds, thus a two syllable word. Now we apply syllable division. Here, syllable rule three is in effect because we have two vowel teams adjacent to one another. So when two vowels come together and don't form a team, and we don't have a four letter team, O, W, E, R, so we have to split the teams up according to syllable rule three. And then we associate our vowel group numbers with our vowel sounds. Mo, er. Violin, violin. She plays the violin beautifully. Vi, o, lin. Vi, two sounds. V, i. O, one sound. Lin, three sounds. L, i, n. Vi, o, lin. So first we look for teams, letters representing their second sounds, or silent e in the word. None of those elements are present in this word. I-O is not a team. O-I is a team, but I-O is not a team. Next, we identify our vowel sounds. Three vowel sounds. We have a three-syllable word. Now we apply syllable division. We use syllable rule three to indicate why we are dividing between the I and the O. And now we associate vowel group numbers with our vowel sounds. Vi, o, lin, violin. The next word is fiery, fiery. He has a very fiery personality. Fi, er, e. First syllable, fi, two sounds, f, i. Second syllable, er. Third syllable, e. Fi, er, e. Now at this point, pause the video Completely mark the word, and once you've done so, advance the video. Phi, er, e. So I and ER are split according to syllable rule three, and the same is true between ER and Y. Row two, forest, forest. I like to walk alone in the forest. Two syllables, first syllable four, Two sounds, f, or, est, three sounds, e, s, t, for, est, mark the word, for, est. Rodeo, rodeo, I like to go to the rodeo and watch all the action, ro, d, o, first syllable, ro, two sounds, r, o, d, two sounds, d, E. O, one sound. Ro, D, O. Mark the word. Ro, D, O. So E, O does not join together and form a team, so we divide between those two vowels according to syllable rule three. Peony. Peony. The peony is a beautiful flower. Peony. Now for spelling, pronounce it P O N E. P, two sounds, P, E, O, one sound, Ni, two sounds, N, 
E. P O N E. Mark the word. P O N E. Again, E O does not join together and form a team, so we divide between the E and O according to syllable rule three. Orange. Orange. That orange color is a bit garish. Or. Ang. First syllable or. Ang. Three sounds. A. N. J. Or. Ang. Mark the word. Or. Ang. Now, why is GE a team in this word? Because the E's only job is to cause the G to represent its second sound. It is not causing the A to represent its long sound. Row three, bayonet, bayonet. A bayonet is attached to the end of a rifle. Bayonet, bay, two sounds, b, a, o, one sound, net, three sounds, n, e, t, bayonet. Mark the word, bayonet. Manual. Manual. You must read the manual before you take the quiz. Now, for spelling, pronounce it ma nu all. Ma, two sounds. M, a. Nu, two sounds. N, u. All, three sounds. A, ul. Ma, nu all. Mark the word. Ma, nu all. A is representing its extra sound aw, as it will normally do at the end of the word when it's followed by the letter L, according to vowel group eight. Poet, poet, the poet came and read his poems. Poet, first syllable po, two sounds p, o, et, two sounds e, t, poet, mark the word. Poet. Now here's O E again. If you think of the word toe, O E is a team in toe. We would underline it and put a four under it. But in the word poet, clearly the O and the E do not join together and form a team, and instead we divide between the O and the E according to syllable rule three. Hyena. Hyena. The hyena is a very powerful and deadly animal. Hi, e, na. Hi, two sounds. H, I. E, one sound. Na, two sounds. N, a. Hi, e, na. Mark the word. Hi, e, na. When Y comes at the end of the first syllable in a word, it normally represents the long I sound, as it is doing here. When A comes at the end of the word, it normally represents its extra sound, aw. Row four, violent, violent. The world can be a violent place. Vi, o, lent. Vi, two sounds, v, i. O, one sound. Lent, four sounds, l, e, n. Vi-o-lent. Mark the word. Vi-o-lent. Vowel. Vowel. The letter A is a vowel. Vow. Two sounds. V-ow. L. Two sounds. e ol vow l Mark the word. Vow-l. Nauseate. Nauseate. The smell of food right now will nauseate me. Nauseate. Na has two sounds. N, a. Z, two sounds. Z, e. Eight, two sounds. A, t. Nauseate. Mark the word. Nauseate. Create, create, I will create a rainbow, 
Cree eight. Cree has three sounds. K, R, E. Eight, two sounds. A, T. Cree eight. Mark the word. Cree eight. Row five, video. Video. Let's go watch the video. V, D, O. V, two sounds. V, I. D, two sounds. D, E. O. V, D, O. Mark the word. V, D, O. Graduate. Graduate. I hope to graduate soon. Gra, D, U, eight. Gra has three sounds. G, R, A. D, U, two sounds. D, U. Eight, two sounds. A, T. Gra, D, U, eight. Mark the word. Gra, D, U, eight. Towel, towel. My towel is wet. Towel. First syllable, tau, two sounds, t, ow. L, two sounds, e, ol. Tau, l, mark the word, tau, l, towel. Flamboyant, flamboyant. He is flamboyant in his manner. Flam, boy, ant. Flam, four sounds, f, ol, a, Mm. Boy, two sounds. B, oi. Ant, three sounds. A, n, t. Flam, boy, ant. Mark the word. Flam, boy, ant. Row six. Voyage. Voyage. We will take a voyage together. And for spelling, pronounce it voyage. Voy has two sounds, v, oi. Age, two sounds, a, j. Voy, age, mark the word. Voy, age. Meteor, meteor. The meteor was plummeting towards earth. Me, t, or. Me has two sounds, m, e. T, two sounds, t. E, or one sound. Me, T, or. Mark the word. Me, T, or. Coward. Coward. No one wants to be seen as a coward. For spelling, pronounce it cow, ard. Cow has two sounds. K, ow. Ard, two sounds. R, d. Cow ard, mark the word. Cow ard. And in conversation, we say coward. Funeral. Funeral. I need to attend the funeral today. Few, nur, all. Few has two sounds. F, you. Nur, two sounds. N, er. All, two sounds. A, ol. Few, nur, all. Mark the word. Few, nur, all. Row seven. Defiant. Defiant. The opposition remains defiant. Pronounce it for spelling. D, fi, ant. D has two sounds. D, e. Fi, two sounds. F, i. Ant. Three sounds. A, n, t. D, fi, ant. Mark the word. D, fi, ant. Glory. Glory. The team returned home in glory. Glor has three sounds. G, l, or. E, one sound. Glor, e. Mark the word. Glory. e When Y comes at the end of two or more syllables, it will normally represent its long E sound. That's the second long sound for Y, so we double underline the Y. 
reactor. Reactor. The nuclear reactor is next to a population center. Reactor. Re has two sounds. R, E. Ak, two sounds. A, K. Tor, two sounds. T, or. Reactor. Mark the word. Reactor. Artery. Artery. The knife cut the man's artery. R, T, E. First syllable R, one sound. Tur, two sounds. T, er. E, one sound. R, tur, E. Mark the word. R, tur, E. Row eight. Brewery. Brewery. They make beer at the brewery. Brew has three sounds. B, R, U. Er, one sound. E, one sound. Brew, er, E. Mark the word. Brew, er, E. Mosaic. Mosaic. The mosaic on the wall was very colorful. Mosaic. First syllable, mo, two sounds. M, o. Zay, two sounds. Z, a. Ick. Two sounds, i, k, mo, ze, ik. Mark the word, mo, ze, ik. Lying, lying. The child protested and said he was not lying. Lying. Lie has two sounds, ol, i. Ing, two sounds, i, ng. Lying. Mark the word. Lying. Coerce. Coerce. Do not try and coerce me, please. Coerce. Co has two sounds. K O. Erse has two sounds. Er. S. Coerce. Mark the word. Coerce. Now, C-E is a team in this word because the E's only job is to cause the C to represent its second sound. Row 8, Royal. Royal. The royal party arrived late to the function. Roy all. Roy has two sounds. R, oi. All, two sounds. A, o. Roy all. Mark the word. Roy all. Royal. Hyacinth. Hyacinth. The hyacinth is a beautiful flower. Hi a synth. Hi has two sounds. H I. A. One sound. Synth. Four sounds. S I N Th. Hi a synth. Mark the word. Hi, a synth. Pliable, pliable. This piece of metal is very pliable. Pliable. Ply has three sounds. P, o, i, a one sound. Bull two sounds. B, o, ply a bull. Mark the word. Ply a bull. Heroism. Heroism. She acted with great heroism. First syllable is he, two sounds. H, e, ro, two sounds. R, o, ism, three sounds. I, z, m. He, ro, ism. Mark the word. Heroism. Heroism. Row 10. Denial. Denial. I think everyone is in denial here. Denial. D has two sounds. D. E. Ni. Two sounds. N. I. All. Two sounds. A. O. Denial. Mark the word. 
deny all. Prowess. Prowess. The athlete has great prowess on the field. Prowess. Prow, three sounds. P, r, ow. S, two sounds. E, s. Prow, s. Mark the word. Prow, s. Stoic. Stoic. The coach has a stoic face. Stoic. Sto has three sounds. S, t, o. Ick, two sounds. I, k. Stoic. Mark the word. Stoic. And our last word is podium. Podium. The speaker went to the podium to address the audience. Po, di, um. Po has two sounds. P, o, di. Two sounds, d, i, um, two sounds, a, uh, m, mm. po, di, um, mark the word, po, di, um, podium. And this completes the dictation of words from lesson 489.